myself aur sang asvi in today's presentation we are going to learn about class ab power amplifiers at the end of this session student can analyze the operation of class ab power amplifiers these are the contents of my today's presentation let us get acquainted with class ab power amplifier in class ab power amplifier each transistor in the amplifier circuit is biased in such a way that the output collector current flows or varies for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree of input ac signal cycle since a dc operating point or crescent point is located on load line uh, just above the cutoff region so that output current for each transistor flows for more than half cycle but less than full cycle of input ac signal hence the conduction angle for each transistor is greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degrees of input ac signal cycle to get the output for full cycle of input signal for both positive and negative half cycle and increase uh, efficiency of uh, power amplifier class ab power amplifier is connected in push pull arrangement since each transistor in the amplifier conducts for just more than half cycle but less than a full cycle of input ac signal so power dissipation of each transistor is much less therefore efficiency of class ab power amplifier is much higher this figure shows the circuit diagram for class ab power amplifier here class b power amplifier is modified to class ab power amplifier the crossover distortion produced in the class b power amplifier is eliminated by slightly forward biasing base symmetry junctions of both transistor q1 and tra transistor q2 using the resistors r1 and r2 by an amount equal to vb that is cut in voltage of transistor q1 and q2 therefore as soon as input ac signal is applied the output collector current immediately starts flowing the input ac signal is applied to driver transformer t1 resistors r1 and r2 are used to set a dc operating point or crescent point for transistor q1 and q2 much closer to cut off region that is class b operation resistor re is used to stabilize the dc operating point of transistor q1 and q2 and reduce distortion in the output signal the input ac signal is coupled to the input of class ab power amplifier using driver transformer t1 whose second is center tap so driver transformer t1 produces uh, two voltage signals of equal magnitude and opposite polarity to drive transistor q1 and q2 during positive half cycle of input ac signal transistor q1 conducts and during negative half cycle of input ac signal transistor q2 conducts when q2 when q1 conducts the current flows through upper half part of uh, primary of transformer t2 when q2 conducts the current flows through lower half part of primary winding of transformer t2 due to transformer action voltage and currents are provided on the secondary of transformer t2 and thus ac power is delivered to load resistor rl now this figure shows a dc and ac condition for class ab power amplifier the dc operating point for each transistor used in class ab power amplifier is selected much closer to a cut off region so each transistor conducts for more than a half cycle and less than full cycle of input ac signal the collector current ic and collector to emitter voltage varies in response to variation of input base voltage and base current and this figure shows a load line for class ab power amplifier the variation of output current 
and output voltage in response to variation of input base voltage and base current when input AC signal is present. This figure shows the circuit diagram for class AB complementary symmetry amplifier. This consists of output complementary symmetry amplifier stage and a common emitter a driver stage to stabilize the operation of amplifier and reduce the distortion in the output crossover distortion in the output signal. Instead of driver transformer, a common emitter transistor amplifier as a driver stage is used at the input side of class AB power amplifier. It is designed using the register R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5 and transistor Q1 with emitter current bias. Drive the transistor Q2 and Q3. Q2 and Q3 are of opposite type NPN and PNP. The register R4 connected to base of transistor Q2 and Q3 provides required biasing for transistor Q2 and Q3. The input driver stage common emitter transistor amplifier Q1 uh, decides major part of voltage gain of overall complementary symmetry amplifier. Register R4 which provides by required biasing for transistor Q2 and Q3 acts as a short circuit when input is a signal is present due to capacitor C2. Since capacitor C2 is connected in parallel to register R4 in presence of AC signal C2 provides very negligible reactance so it behaves like a short circuit so therefore R4 acts as a short circuit. The register R6 and R7 are used to limit the amount of current flowing through transistor Q2 and Q3. Whenever the output voltage is developed whenever output is developed across RF as well as the common point of register R6 and R7 which are connected to transistor Q2 and Q3 emitters is biased at half of uh, DC power supply voltage VCC, VCC so that the output applied to capacitor C4 output applied to capacitor C4 can swing by equal amount in both positive and negative direction in presence of input AC signal. During uh, conduction of Q2 capacitor C4 charges uh, through VCC and RL and supplies a load current. So during positive half cycle of input AC signal the the current is drawn from DC power supply and provided to load register RL. When Q3 is conducting, load current flows through Q3 and RL and this time the current is not drawn from DC power supply VCC. Instead of that, capacitor C4 which is acting as energy storage device supplies load current. So C4 discharges through RL and Q3. So C4 provides uh, current to the load during negative half cycle of input AC signal. So the maximum uh, VC for output transistor is supply voltage VCC. The maximum current drawn from DC power supply for each transistor is peak load current plus the DC, cur DC collector current at a quiescent point, a Q point. The transistor current IM is equal to peak load current plus ICQ. So ICQ is a collector current at DC operating point or quiescent point, a Q point. So that is equal to IP plus 0.1 IP. So generally the DC collector current at Q point is 10% of uh, peak load current. So maximum current drawn towards each transistor is equal to 1.1 IP. 
the current drawn from a DC power supply plus VCC has half a rectified form. Since the current flows towards the load from DC power supply only during positive half cycle of input AC signal. In negative half cycle of input AC signal, the load current is supplied from capacitor C4. Therefore, the current drawn from this DC power supply has a rec half a rectified form. So the average current from DC power supply is equal to IM by pi. So that is equal to 1.1 IP divided by pi. Now student can pause video here and think over this question. How crossword distortion reduces in class AB power amplifier? In class AB power amplifier, each transistor is slightly thawed by by amount equal to VB that is cut-in voltage and its DC operating point is set just above the cutoff region. So as soon as input AC signal is applied, the transistor conducts and output collector current immediately starts flowing. So in this way, the crossover distortion is eliminated in class AB power amplifier. These are the references. Thank you.